This is how to add branding or remove um, branding from Windows 8. Uh, OEM branding on your HPEs and Dells is going to come with the logo and the support tools. Um, if you're your own PC manufacturer or you distribute your own PC, you might want to add your information here. Uh, so if you just go to Computer and Properties, you can see what I'm going on about. It's going to be blank because uh, this is just a blank install, but you can have um, some information here about your company that created the PC. Um, and you can do that. It's actually done from a registry key. Uh, so we'll take a look at the registry key. Um, now, so to do that, you need to go to start and type in reg edit, or you can go to run reg edit, reg edit which is R E G E D I T, and press yes to the UAC. Uh, the location of the registry editing you need to do is uh, H key local machine. I've written it at the bottom there for you, and then you need to drill down to software. And then Microsoft. And then at the bottom you should see Windows. And then you want in the current version. And then you'll see a folder called OEM Information. Uh, if you've got a blank install, it's not going to have anything in there. If you want to remove the data, you could just delete the keys in there, it's going to remove that for you. Or you can just insert blank tool, um, blank entries, which is what my registry tool does for you in a minute. Um, so I've made a downloadable one there, um, so you you know the keys if instead of having to manually put them in, which can be found on my website, which you can see the URL uh, on the bottom in just a second. It's um, http www.mattorner.co.uk forward slash downloads forward slash branding.zip. Um, this is what you're going to be downloading here, and you can see um, you can easily enter the details you want to come up. Um, I fulfilled the URL one for you there, just by default. So if we double click on, on this registry tool, uh, we can go and add this to our registry and then we should see the changes. So it's only the support one we've added, the support website. So if we run that, are we sure we want to make changes to the registry? Yes. And we just come out of system and we're going to go back into it. So go back to the start menu, go to computer, and then you can right click and then go to properties. And you can see here I've got OEM info, website, and online support. And if I click on that, it will take me to the URL I entered, which is my website. I hope it's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.